So the first thing you do is taking out the grid, the new 16 channel pangolin EEG grid. So here you can see the gold plated electrode dots and here the connector for, from the grids. Um, the first thing we have to do is to place the adhesive that will stick to the skin um, onto the grid. So you take a new adhesive, slip it off like this. The grid you place into your pangolin preparation tool and then you put the adhesive on top of the electrode grid. Make sure to align the holes of the adhesive with, with the 16 electrode dots from the pangolin grid. And that's how the pangolin grid with the attached adhesive looks like. As a next step, we apply the conductive Elefix gel to the prepared grid with the adhesive. So you place your grid with the adhesive applied into your um, preparation tool and we apply the Elefix gel with this um, preparation card. You take an amount of gel and put it on top of the adhesive and try to fill all of the holes of the 16 electrode dots. Fill the um, holes exactly with enough gel so you have good conduction. As a last step before applying the grids to the scalp you have to remove the liner from the adhesive. Try to gently pick the liner from one corner and remove without touching the filled electrode dots. After removing the liner, the grid is ready to be placed on the skin. To find the um, original um, EEG positions, we place the 1020 cap on the head of the subject and mark um, the standard position, for example, C set, C1, C3 and C4. To afterwards co-register them with the pangolin grids. So place the standard EEG cap on the head of the subject. Make sure Inion and Nasion have proper distance. As ground position, we use the mustoid. For preparing the skin, we can use abrasive gel and rub a bit on the skin to have better impedance. Just use a bit of abrasive and rub it on the skin. Afterwards, you can use these sticking electro clips and place it on the mustard. As a next step, find the marked standard positions and place the grid with the liner removed from the adhesive. Align the grid as you wish and place it on the clean skin.
As a first step, you connect the ground clip to the mustoid ground electrode. Make sure that the cable is connected to the pangolin connector box at the ground socket. Make sure that the pangolin connector box is powered with the battery pack provided and that the LED is in green. As a next step, connect the pre-amplifier with the HDMI cable and plug it onto the electro grid. Afterwards, you can lay down the cable and connect it to the cable holder on the back side of the head so the cable is not moving. Make sure that the cable is connected to the socket you want to have it connected to with the grid you applied on this position. In our case, it's grid number one. Proceed doing this with all of the preamplifier you will use in your experiment. 